hello guys welcome back to my channel and today's video we are going to prepare dinner and we decided to carry you guys along and i'll prepare some beef stew and ugali the first step you want to do is clean your meat properly yes clean your meat properly because you don't know how it was handled where it was so you can prefer to use vinegar lemon juice or lime juice or salt so today i decided to use salt because that's what i could find and the next step is i'm going to season my meat before it is cooked yeah so i'll use salt and don't add too much because i'll be using two maggi cubes then i'll use black pepper i'm gonna add bay leaves for the aroma here and coriander that is dried tania and just mix everything together so that the spices would incorporate nicely in the meat then I'll cover a cover so that my meat will simmer with its own juices before I add water in it enjoy guys the rest of the video so guys at this point I had to check whether my meat had water before I head out to go buy some tomatoes and onions yeah before because I discovered I didn't have enough tomatoes and onions to prepare the beef stew and that's me in the lift trying to dance to some music yeah so let's go to back the shop At this point I had to check the meat and the water was over so I decided to add some water so that the meat will continue simmering until it is well cooked and it is tender yes while I chop my onions and my tomatoes.
so my meat is ready soft and tender and at this point I'm just gonna brown my meat before I add the tomatoes and the onions yes you just want to brown your meat for like 10 minutes or so you don't want it to be too dry or too hard but you just want to give it some color it was time for me to add the onions after browning my meat and I'm just gonna mix everything properly so that my onions can saute before I add the tomatoes I'll add the tomatoes and cover my pot so that they will cook properly at the same time I decided to boil the water that I'll use to prepare the ugali. The tomatoes are well cooked and I decided to use the leftover broth that I had saved earlier. If you don't have broth you can use water. Then I'll cover my pot and let it go for two minutes. And our beef stew is done. At this point, it was time for me to prepare the ugali. You're just gonna add your flour, not too much or too little. Because as I continue cooking, I'll be adding more flour for me to find my desired texture for my ugali. You just want to mix your ugali properly so that it will not have lumps in it. And you want to give it time for it to also cook because you don't want undercooked ugali. At this point, I was going to cover it for it to cook further. Our ugali is done. So I'm just gonna shape it and remove it from the fire and that's it. Thank you for watching guys. See you on my next one.